Hello, you are welcome to Science Array with Glory Valentine. This is where you have your physics and material science questions solved. Let's go to class. Today's lesson is about how to determine surface roughness from scanning electron microscopy, SEM, using images software. The surface roughness of materials can remarkably change the way of how they interact with electrons, molecules, and photons. It determines the functionality and properties of materials. To determine the roughness of your materials first, we need to download the image software. It is given in the description. We need to go to our browser, paste the link, and click on enter. It will open the image and you look for download and check the latest version and click on it. It will generate a zip file here and when it finishes, you need extract the file. Go to your download folder and click on the file to be extracted the software is available for Windows 32 and Windows 64. So I'll click on Windows 64 because I'm using this and it will generate a toolbar. Go to file and open. Search for the destination you save your file or you can easily pick and drop. Then go to analyze set scale and click to remove the scale okay you need not the unit here because sometimes the same result is in nanometer but here we have it in micrometer so pick the freehand line measure exactly what you have here then go to analyze notice here that it will change set the scale these are automatically generated the known distance is one micrometer so you write there one then this is constant units of length the unit that we are having here is in micrometer so if it is in nanometer, you need to write it here. So you click OK. You observe the changes. Pick the rectangle. Here it is a polycrystalline thin fin. So the grains are of different orientation. We have layer grains and the small grains. So you need to capture both the layer grains and the small grains. Then go to analyze, then surface plots. Okay. And it has generated your surface roughness. So you can also make it or project it in a 3D form. Go to 3D and project it. Okay. You have it here. You then save it. Thank you for watching.